Hey everyone, this is a video tutorial for how to build the stellated cuboctahedra, and this will be a tutorial for all three versions of that shape that I have on my channel, the type A, the type B, and the fully stellated cuboctahedra. Um, the first thing you're going to need is a cuboctahedron, and I have a tutorial for this shape, so I'll post a link, and you can go watch that video and see how to make this. There is one difference, though, between uh, this one and what was in the tutorial video, so I'll show you that real quick. Um, these are the subunits that you use to make that shape. I'll let you see how to make these in that video, but I'm going to show you an alteration you need to do to them before you assemble this. And that is that, first of all, you need to make it a little bit larger, and you do that by adding two magnets onto each end of the subunit that I made in that tutorial. So now each end looks like that, rather than like that. So, and you want to do that to all four ends of this. So, this is the length of edge that you want for this one. And then also, to reinforce it a little bit, you take a square of four magnets and you want to add it down right here in the center. Just like that. And that'll give it a little bit of reinforcement. And so this is what you want to use to build this cuboctahedron. But otherwise, it's the same as in the tutorial video. So I'll go ahead and set that aside for now. You're also going to need, um, if you want to build the type A or the fully stellated version, you're going to need eight of these. And these are pretty much just regular three-sided points, but I'll show you how to make them real quick. You take six stacked rings of 18 magnets per ring. You flatten them out, and you cut them up into three double stacks, and those are long straight pieces. You can attach them together at the corners, bend them around until they attach there, bend them up, and you see uh, three magnets right there that are in the middle, that little triangle. You can go ahead and remove that with a chain carefully. And then you want to slide this over, just like that. You want to bend the legs down till those three magnets on top will split away like that. And then you want to remove those magnets. Then you want to make a hexagon and add it down on top. Just like that. And then you want to make a little triangle and add it down on top of the hexagon. And you'll notice that the legs are uneven lengths. There's a short one, a medium one, and a long one. From the medium leg, you remove two magnets. From the long leg, you remove four magnets. And now they're all the same. And you need eight of these. And you also need, if you're going to build the type B, or the fully stellated, you need six of these. And these are tricky. I don't really like making these, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, the way you make those is you need eight stacked rings of 22 magnets. You flatten them out and cut them up into four long straight pieces. Just like that. And then you need two little triangles like this. And you need two hexagon rings. And so what you do is you take these two triangles and you attach them together like that. So they interlock with each other. Then you want to add these hexagons down on either side of that. So you get this shape, and you see there's two holes in it. And you actually want to take two individual magnets and fill in those holes. Like that. Then you can take these four, and you want to remove this magnet on the point off one end of all four of them. And so now you want to attach these to this. And what you want to do is you want to attach them. You see how there's kind of square surfaces and hexagon surfaces. 
And if you find two adjacent hexagon surfaces, they're kind of, t they share an edge. And you want this to attach onto one of those hexagon surfaces pointing towards another hexagon. So you may have to rotate it around a little bit to find a good polarity. But, so you want it to go down and then it hexagon like that. And then if you find one that works polarity wise, usually the opposite one on the exact other side will also work, see? And now here's where it gets annoying though, because now you need to attach ones there and there, and that does not always work. In fact, usually when you do that, they end up wanting to go like that and not even. And so you usually end up with this and it can be annoying and you may have to try it 10 times before you find the right alignment. Um, but I have this one here, which at least was in the right alignment last time I checked. So I have two more edge pieces and I'll go ahead and add them on and hopefully this works. Okay, and it worked. Um, now what you want to do is you kind of want to go underneath and you want to attach all of these kind of outside things together so that the underside will look like that. And you see how this one is different from that one? And you want to make this one look like that. And so you end up with this. And that's how you make these, and you need six of them. And sometimes you'll get it on your first try, and sometimes it may take, you know, 20 tries to get one. And that's why I don't really like making these, because I'm, you know, not really sure how, they're wor how they work polarity-wise. And it's sometimes really annoying to get enough of them to build the shape. But anyways, I have them, and now to start assembling it. So for the type A, what you want to do is take your cube octahedron and take these triangular points and you want to add them down into these triangular faces. And they just snap in like that, nice and easy. Just like that. And for the type A, you just want to go around and attach all eight of these to all eight triangular faces. And that is how you build the stellated cuboctahedron type A. Now, if you want to go to the type B, you would just have skipped that part and go straight to these subunits. Or if you want to build the fully stellated cuboctahedron, you would do this and then move on to these. Um, but again, you just put these down so that they fit into the inner corners of the squares. And they don't snap in quite as nicely as the triangular ones do, but they fit, you know, relatively easy. It's not too hard to get them to go. It's not quite as perfect as the triangular points, but you can get them to go fairly simply. And what you want to do first is attach, I'll fix that in a minute, um, attach two of them. And once you've attached two of them, you can actually flip it over onto that because that forms a nice flat surface. Just like that. And anyways, I'm gonna fix this and then go on to attach all the rest of the square points. And there you go. That is how you build the fully stellated cuboctahedron. 
And sorry, but I'm not going to smash this shape because I actually want to save the subunits for another tutorial that I'm about to start working on.